Today's drivers are under intense surveillance. Jeanette Miller comes to their rescue when things go wrong. She heads up Jeffrey Miller Solicitors, a London and Manchester firm that specialises solely in defending motor offences. Her team of 15 handle around 200 clients at any one time, in cases ranging from speeding to drink driving, dangerous driving and penalty points totting up. We're one of the market leaders in this field. One of the things that I think sets us apart from many other firms is our approach to client service and also the thoroughness of what we do. So we will scrutinise absolutely everything we can in a case to see exactly what we can do to find a way out of the mess the client has got themselves in or if they've been accused wrongly to ensure that they're not convicted. We're able to find a number of technical strategies that often will be the difference between a client having a conviction that could lose them their job, could mean that they can't travel abroad, and certainly be off the roads. John was going through the distress of a divorce, he explains, and had accumulated nine points over three months when he was caught speeding again. Geoffrey Miller solicitors helped save him from a driving ban. They have a thoroughly tried process and they don't let you go off track. They don't leave any stone unturned. They ask everything they need to ask and that is then put into um, a well tried, well-proven practice. The firm retains the name of Jeanette's father, who was in business from the 1970s and founded the practice in 2000. With celebrities among his clients, Geoffrey was even mentioned by George Best in his autobiography. I took over Geoffrey Miller Solicitors back in 2005. I was already running my own practice at that point. Um, I'd set up my own firm in 2001. And unfortunately, my father had a stroke very suddenly out of the blue. It was a massive stroke, and we weren't sure whether he was actually going to live. Having it forced upon me, whilst it was very traumatic and extremely difficult at the time, made me go out of my comfort zone, if you like. And I think what I've learned from that is that really any obstacles that life happens to put in your way can be overcome. And I think that's the approach that I, I have to most of the cases that we deal with. She's since become a prominent expert in the field, publishing a motoring law guide and is a regular commentator in the media, where she's dubbed Miss Justice. I think she's created a personality around the business, which is important, and I think she has charismatic leadership of that business, which I think uh, lends clients to feel very loyal to her. I approached things very differently. I thought it was important from a marketing perspective to get our name out there, to raise the profile of the business. And in some ways, whilst that helped us, it also hindered us because a lot of other firms saw what a success I was making of the business. And there were quite a few firms that really copied the model. Lots of people thought, well, I, I can do what they've done, but they actually couldn't. And they were giving quite poor advice. Jeanette responded by approaching other law firms she respected to form the Association of Motor Offence Lawyers. It's a source of expertise for clients, people like Sarah. Her case was finally dismissed after a series of court hearings. She recalls the stress she felt when she was breathalysed and found to be just over the legal limit. I was absolutely beside myself, really upset, because, you know, it's just such a, a stressful situation. And, and when I spoke, I actually spoke to Jeanette and... Um, she was amazing. She just calmed me down, and and um, she was just so reassuring. Yeah, you know, she was great. She just was so positive about the law and my situation. With a keen social focus, the practice offers a bursary scheme for clients who need help with their legal fees. And Jeanette's an ambassador for the Duke of Edinburgh's award, working with young offenders. As a campaigner against changes in the way defendants recover costs, she won the support of around 22,000 people on a Downing Street petition. Jeanette personally trains her team to ensure they maintain her thoroughness for case preparation, essential, she believes, for a legal system that can be weighted against motoring cases. The premise is in, in 
British law is that you know, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. If you think you're innocent, then you should be defending the case. There's no two ways about it. You shouldn't just be accepting penalty, accepting punishment for something that you don't believe you, you, know, you genuinely did. There's nothing better than winning a case. Uh, and delivering that news to a client that you've actually won a case on their behalf, seeing their face when they win. Um, because to a lot of our clients, you know, the repercussions of conviction is, is far-reaching. Everybody here, when, when we do our appraisals and we, we talk to the staff about what it is they want to achieve and, and what they like about their job, I would say near enough 100% of the time they respond by saying, I love winning, and we win an awful lot.